This video walks through a practice question on traffic flow theory. As I read through the question, I'll highlight any key terms and information so that we can easily identify and refer back to these later. The recent growth of the southwest Sydney area has led to widespread investigation regarding the safety and performance of the state and federal roads in the area. A survey team collected traffic data between two points of the Hume Highway, XX and YY, from the intersection with Remembrance Avenue to the intersection with Governor Macquarie Drive in Warwick Farm, 450 metres apart. Observations at XX show that five vehicles passed that location at intervals of 3, 4, 3 and 5 seconds respectively. The speeds of the vehicles at point XX were 80, 70, 60, 55 and 50 km per hour respectively. Assume that the vehicles maintain these speeds whilst approaching YY. Imagine that you are a traffic engineer and you need to ascertain the following information. Part A. Fill in the distance values in the schematic below showing the locations of the five vehicles 20 seconds after the first vehicle passed location XX. Part B. Calculate the time mean speed. Part C. Calculate the space mean speed. And finally, Part D. Calculate the density between XX and YY on the highway using the fundamental traffic equation Q is equal to KVS. Let's now take a closer look at part A. We are given a schematic diagram showing the locations of XX and YY and need to determine where the vehicles are 20 seconds after the first vehicle passes location XX. To do this, we first calculate the distance travelled by each vehicle using the relationship between speed, distance and time and then use these to infer the spacings between each vehicle as required by the question. Recapping the information that has been provided, we are given directly the speed of each vehicle in kilometres per hour. We will need to convert these speeds to SI units, that is, metres per second. The time interval between each vehicle passing XX is given as well. This is called the headway. For example, after vehicle 1 arrives at XX, 3 seconds elapses before the following vehicle, Vehicle 2 arrives at the same point. Let's now compute the distance travelled by each vehicle after 20 seconds has passed. Using D, the distance, is equal to V, the speed, multiplied by T, time. For vehicle 1, the distance travelled is equal to the speed, 80 km per hour, converted into metres per second, multiplied by the time, which is the entire 20 seconds, since it is the first vehicle to pass XX. This gives us 444.44 metres. For vehicle 2, the distance travelled is equal to 70 kilometres per hour, converted into metres per second once again, multiplied by the time, which is 17 seconds, since the second vehicle passes XX 3 seconds later than the first vehicle. This gives a distance of 330.56 metres. Applying a similar procedure to vehicles 3 to 5 yields the following results. As you can see, vehicles arriving at XX at later times do not travel as far along the XX to YY interval. For example, vehicle 4 only reaches a distance of 152.78 metres. 
and Vehicle 5 reaches a distance of 69.4 metres. Now we can use these distances to determine the spacing between each vehicle. A is simply the distance travelled by vehicle 5, which is 69.4 metres. You can calculate the distance B by deducting D5 out of D4. Which gives you a value of 83.33 metres. Similarly, we can infer the length of C using D3 and D4. D, E and F can be found in the same way. The final step is to annotate the schematic diagram with our values to show the spacing between each vehicle. This is the final output. Moving on to part B, we are asked to calculate the time mean speed. Time mean speed is the average speed of all vehicles passing a point over a duration of time. It is the simple average of spot speeds and is given by the equation here. We know the speeds of the five vehicles as they pass xx. Since n is the number of observations, n is equal to 5 in this problem. We can then go ahead and substitute these values into the formula. Time mean speed is equal to 1 on n multiplied by the sum of the spot speeds. The time mean speed is therefore 63 kilometers per hour. From this, we know that time mean speed is an average speed past a point. Let's compare this to space mean speed, which is the focus of part C. The space mean speed is also an average of the spot speeds, but it is an average speed along a length of road. Using the same notation as before, VI is the spot speed of vehicle I. If we consider a unit length of road, the time it takes a vehicle to travel this distance is 1 on VI. If there are n vehicles, the average time taken to traverse a unit length of road is given by this equation. The average speed, or the space mean speed, is then equal to 1 on this average time, which is equal to n divided by the sum of the inverse of spot speeds. This is consistent with what we have up here. In this particular example, we have five observations. We can expand the space mean speed equation like this. Let's then go ahead and substitute in the appropriate values for V. Doing this gives us a space mean speed of 61.248 km per hour. 
Moving on to part D, we are asked to calculate the density between xx and yy, and are given the fundamental traffic equation to do so. Let's take a closer look at this equation. Q is the flow of traffic through the highway and has units of vehicles per hour. K is the density and describes the number of vehicles in one kilometre. And space mean speed, as discussed previously, has units of kilometres per hour. We can see that the units are consistent in this equation as the kilometre units cancel on the right hand side. We can also rearrange this to make density the subject. Now we have already calculated the space mean speed in part C, so this is known. We aren't directly given a value for the traffic flow Q, but we can deduce it. Remember that vehicles are travelling from XX to YY. And the headway values are given to us. Imagine you are standing at point XX. Vehicle 1 passes by and 3 seconds later, vehicle 2 passes. In total, 5 vehicles pass by you over a period of 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5 seconds. This gives a flow value of 5 vehicles per 15 seconds. Let's now substitute these values to find density. K is equal to Q, which is 5 vehicles per 15 seconds. converted into vehicles per hour divided by the space mean speed which we calculated previously to be 61.248 kilometers per hour this gives us a density of 19.592 vehicles per kilometer To summarise, we have obtained valuable information through the analysis of the survey results. We understand the spacing between vehicles at a certain point in time using the results of Part A. We also have an estimate of the time mean speed and space mean speed with Parts B and C. And finally, Part D allowed us to gain knowledge about the density of this particular section of the roadway. Thank you for watching this video and good luck in your studies.